Hi quilters, for today's tip I have something really quick that's going to make it really easy for you to do your piecing. Now this is a little system that I've figured out over time. I'm sure many of you have done something similar to this, but let me show you what works for me. I've taken my rotary cutter and my ruler and I've cut a little piece of duct tape to one quarter inch wide. And so uh, the length of it is, I don't know, about six or seven inches and it's a quarter inch in width. And I'm going to take it off my cutting board and go over to my sewing machine. I want to attach this little quarter inch piece of duct tape to my sewing machine bed to use as a guide. Okay, so let's look down at the machine. First thing I do is to put my needle in the down position and then I take my ruler and just slide it right up against the needle. Don't push too hard, just want to slide it right against the needle. And then you want to check to make sure that you are going straight out from the needle. So I'm going to check to make sure that my lines going across are um, parallel to this throat plate here. Now I've got my, my ruler in the right position. I'm going to take my little piece of duct tape and you'll notice that I use sparkly duct tape because I really like it for this application because it really helps to for me to see the, the guideline. So I'm going to place it on my sewing machine bed. Make sure my ruler stays placed right up against that ruler just so that I'm going exactly straight out from my needle. So that, then I can remove my ruler and now I have a guideline that is straight, the straight guideline straight from my needle and on this side of the tape is a quarter inch away and I will show you how I use that. Now traditionally if we're going to make a corner triangle we draw a line on the wrong side of the fabric, the square that we're attaching to the base piece and then we sew right on that drawn line so that we can make a corner triangle. So then you would be watching the drawn line right here and sew right on that line. I didn't do very good, but you know what I was doing. Okay, and if that's the case, then when we're done, this will open up and replace the corner. We'd, we'd trim that away and we'd have a new corner added to this piece so we have a corner triangle. But this way, I don't. I can eliminate the step of drawing the, draw, the line on the back. So I just place my my corner triangle square on the square of the base piece and then put my needle down in one corner and then rather than watching up here where I'm following a line I'm going to watch down here where I place this guide and I'm going to let's get started here so I'm going to watch the very tail end of this corner as it follows the the guide in towards the sewing machine and I'm just going to watch that corner as it advances in through the machine. Now I've got same result, corner triangle, but I didn't have to draw the line, which is really helpful if you've got like 80 of these to do in one step. Now, traditionally when we do corner uh, half square triangles, we draw the line in the center and then we sew on both sides of that line. So we would want to sew here a quarter inch away from that line and then here on the other side a quarter inch away from that line. And then we cut it apart on the line. And then when you open it up, if it was seamed there, you'd have a half square triangle on this side and one on this side as well. But this way, we don't have to draw that line. I'm going to place my, uh, my squares that are going to make the half square triangle in my sewing machine with my quarter inch foot as a guide right there on the very point. And then as I'm advancing this through my machine, I'm going to place this point on this side, so this is a quarter inch away from the center line, and I'm just going to watch that point, follow that down in. I don't have to draw my line, and you can see it comes out exactly a quarter inch away from the center line. If I was doing a bunch of these, I'd chain them all through, and then I'd turn the whole chain around and do the other side. Let's do this side. And I'm watching here, rather than down by the needle. And there's one, one other advantage to this is when you're watching this far away from the needle, you have time to correct it if you're off by a little bit. But if you're watching the needle and you're off by a little bit, it's too late to correct. So now I can cut this apart on the imaginary drawn line right in the middle and then I'll have two half square triangles. This saves a lot of time. And I like to make my half square triangles a tiny bit bigger 
So I, I uh, make them one inch larger than the finished size. I, I cut them one inch larger rather than seven eighths. So they don't come out exactly the right size. Then I trim them to the exact size and then they're perfectly perfect. When you're seaming your blocks together, the, this handy duct tape is also useful because I can see where my quarter inch line is. And then I can watch down here. See, I can see a little bit of a sparkle there with that sparkly duct tape. That tells me that I'm just barely exactly right. I want my seam allowance to be just a scant quarter inch so that I have enough room for my seam allowance for my fabric to open up uh, over my seam allowance and give me a perfect seam. Get yourself some sparkly duct tape, cut it a quarter inch wide, and then place it on your sewing machine bed and you'll be sewing five times faster. I guarantee it.